So last time I covered Goku fighting Vegeta, I faced off UI Goku against a fan-made Hakaishin form Vegeta with untold power. The battle ended quickly and in brutal fashion with Vegeta being the victor, only for it to be reversed by Whis himself. Now months later in today's manga, Vegeta with his new Ultra Ego form will face off finally against the perfected Ultra Instinct of Goku deciding once and for all who comes out on top. But before we begin, support this video and channel by leaving a like right now as you're reading this and watching till the very end for its insanely unexpected conclusion. Enjoy. So our story begins with a pumped up and fired up Goku crunching his knuckles with a smile, staring at Vegeta who stands across from him saying, Come back for round two already, huh? Knowing you, you must have something new to show me. So we'll just call this a rematch then. But I'll warn you Vegeta, this won't go the way it did last time. Those same tricks won't work twice. And Vegeta in reply just smirks confidently and says, <laughs> Oh don't worry, I too know this won't go anything like last time. Trust me. There's plenty more in the bag over here, Kakarot. Not everyone's a one-trick pony like you. Ultra Instinct this, and Ultra Instinct that! <laughs> Pathetic. Imagine not having progressed since the Tournament of Power! And now cracking his neck, readying himself, Vegeta continues... Ha <laughs> ha! Just you wait and see, Kakarot! A Saiyan Prince doesn't stagnate and plateau like a low-class warrior. I'll show you that difference once and for all. Goku, however, having heard this spiel a thousand times already, just smiles and responds. Ha! <laughs> Still harping on about all that low-class stuff over 20 years later, huh, Vegeta? There's a reason I'm still using Ultra Instinct. It's because I'm getting better and better at using it every day. Don't worry though, I won't jump into it and embarrass you straight away though. I only have a limited amount of time in it anyway. I think it's better I start with this for you. And just like that, Goku jumps to his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken form in an instant, pulling no punches as he goes into his most stable powerful form with his muscles bulging and veins popping out of his forehead as the thrill of the battle rushes through his blood. <laughs> Fine! Have it your way, clown! With Vegeta matching him by launching straight into Evolution Blue, his hair going darker than Goku's with a dark pupil appearing in his eyes. He too bulked up to the limit with veins protruding all over. Wasting no time, as Goku then quickly gets into fighting stance, he smiles and says, Starting off with Evolution Blue? Looks like we both need a warm up, don't we Vegeta? But Vegeta too gets into fighting stance and quickly quips back, <laughs> Hardly! I've just watched you enough times to know you would never go serious from the get go. Like I said, you've become predictable, Kakarot. <laughs> and with their chat ended, both immediately simultaneously rush in at each other at full power and speed. Vegeta! Kakarot! <laughs> Clashing first with both their arms, completely equal in strength, neither budging in either direction. Eventually, the two separate though, but only momentarily as Goku immediately keeps up the assault, rushing him once again with his Kaioken. Take this! <laughs> Savagely launching a roundhouse kick, only for it to be blocked by the Prince. <laughs> Call that an attack? Even Trunks hits harder than that, you disgrace! <laughs> yeah! Huh? Responding with his own punch, but to his surprise, Goku quickly ducks right underneath it, himself saying, Oh yeah? 
will even go ten punches faster than you do. <laughs> With Goku then immediately powering up in his right hand, a concentrated ball of energy, telling Vegeta, Well, if I can't hit hard enough, then I'll try the next best thing. <laughs> immediately throwing a powerful energy blast at Vegeta. That unfortunately is dodged too by the same. Yeah! Only for Vegeta to clap back with a devastatingly accurate gut kick that lands unexpectedly on Goku as Vegeta laughs. <laughs> Why must you be so damn predictable, Kakarot? And always wide open at that. It's a mystery how you're still even alive. But maybe I can change that today. Huh? But as Vegeta says this, Goku then grabs onto the leg of Vegeta, which is still in the middle of his gut. An amused Vegeta however remarks, What's this? Trying to give me a massage? Get your filthy hands off me Kakarot! But the still in pain Goku just responds with a slight smirk saying, Kah. Predictable you say? Well tell me, if you predicted this one, Vegeta. <gasps> I said let go, fool! What are you up to? <laughs> and with his legs grabbed, Goku then spins the prince faster and faster, round and round to the point Vegeta becomes completely disorientated, yelling, Kakarot! <laughs> instantly launching Vegeta into the air at an astonishing speed. While Vegeta is forced to close his eyes to get himself internally balanced again, grunting. What kind of move was that? Didn't even damage me. But regardless, a sneakily smiling Goku remains down below, plotting something muttering. <laughs> right where I need you Vegeta. <laughs> and below with a smirk, Goku crosses his arms to get into a curiously familiar stance, before shouting, Multiform Technique! Instantly then using the signature move of Tian Shinhan to split into three identical Gokus. What? Three Kakarots? You've got to be kidding me! I can't be dealing with that amount of stupidity! <laughs> but before Vegeta can even think on the nightmare he's now in, all three Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Gokus rush in with speed, each aiming to attack from a different vulnerable angle. Like clockwork, almost immediately Vegeta becomes surrounded at all corners as he lets out. <laughs> three on one? Just the kind of cowardly, unsaiyan like move! I'd expect of you, Kakarot! Ha! But unfazed by their prince's words, all three Gokus head in for the kill, each in their own unique way. Ha! <coughs> Ferociously first kicking the overwhelmed Vegeta right on the jaw. Ha! Ha! While the second uppercuts him. Ha! While the last then swipes his back fist across Vegeta from behind, ultimately only beginning the vicious assault Vegeta was about to face. As the beating continues however, an angered Vegeta closes his eyes, muttering, This clown thinks he can make a fool of me! 3 on 1 or 100 on 1? Doesn't matter anymore, if you're that eager to attack, I'll turn it to my advantage! And just like that, Vegeta's entire facial expression changes, with his eyebrows now gone ironically like a Super Saiyan 3, and mysterious flames now surrounding him. All the while, a glowing purple hue now is attached to his eyes. Instantly, along with this sudden change in appearance, a huge influx of energy blasts from every pore of Vegeta's body, 
surrounding him in a protective ball of energy, shocking the three unsuspecting Gokus in the process. Huh? What? Vegeta? Causing all three apparitions to be shot off into the distance, blasted away by just the pure energy of Vegeta's transformation. With one smashing into a nearby mountain, one into the ocean, and the final one to the ground. Resulting in two of the clones vanishing, while the real Goku struggles in pain on the floor in agony muttering, What was that? His key completely exploded. Vegeta! What is that? As Goku gets himself back up, what he sees before him instantly shocks him. As he continues, That can't be your Hakaishin form! Why does it look so different? Explain, Vegeta! And standing there, now with a blemishless face and a cocky smile, Vegeta finally speaks, saying, <laughs> Yes, Kakarot, you're right. This is no Hakaishin form anymore. I have gone far beyond. This is a power of my own. Power fit only for a prince. One that not even Beerus can tap into. Much less you. What do you think? It's almost like that unsightly Super Saiyan 3 form of yours. Just without that ridiculous air. Still feel confident about beating me, clown? However, a very concerned Goku, meanwhile, just questions further. You... you already surpassed your Hokaishin form? It's only been a few months. I guess this is why you were always considered a genius, huh, Vegeta? While Vegeta soon flies down and responds, Precisely, Kakarot. The tables have turned. While at one point you were the one constantly ascending to new forms, achieving forms I still have no access to to this day. Now, you are the one stagnating in that pathetic white-haired form. And believe me, this is only the beginning of my evolution. And just as his feet touch the ground, Vegeta announces, Behold! A power to finally surpass you! A power that only gets stronger in the heat of battle! My power is limitless! This is... Ultra Ego! <laughs> but awkwardly looking on, Goku just comments... Ultra... Ego? That's the best you could come up with. Really? Ego. I mean, cool form and all, Vegeta, but you kind of just took my Ultra Instinct and replaced one of the words. Can we just go back to her Kaishin form? I think Arj's fans preferred that. Be quiet, you imbecile! Forget the name of it! Respect the power of it instead, clown! God. You didn't hear me say anything when you got your new form! Before the conversation quickly returns back to Sirius, with Vegeta continuing... <laughs> yes, the names may be slightly similar, but believe me Kakarot, the power of this form is on an entirely different level! <laughs> and with none of the silly drawbacks of your incomplete Ultra Instinct. Goku, however, only egged on by those comments, just smiles back and replies, An entirely different level, huh? Yeah, you're right, Vegeta. My Ultra Instinct is still in a whole other league. I'm pretty sure I can still beat you just like this. After all, looks like I don't need to worry about you hokaiing me again, as you are in this form. Looks like my leg's safe for now. Let's go! And following this, Goku immediately restarts the battle, flying in ready to punch at full strength. Haha! <laughs> yes, Kakarot! Come at me like the predictable fool you are! <laughs> but to his surprise, Vegeta remains still, opting to take on Goku's attack head on. 
ironically, with nothing but his forehead. Huh? What? What are you doing, Vegeta? Why didn't you dodge that? As Goku looks on in shocking confusion at the strange battle technique of his opponent. With blood running down his face from the impact, the primal Vegeta just lets out. <laughs> well, that's easy to answer, Kakarot. It's because I don't need to when the attacks are that weak. <laughs> Triggered by Vegeta's goading, Goku immediately goes ahead to prove himself once again yelling, I'll show you weak Vegeta! Slamming a fist point blank on Vegeta's jaw, sending blood splattering out of his mouth. Before comboing into a kick that sends Vegeta flying away like a bat out of hell. Goku to speed up and catch up to Vegeta mid-flight and uppercut him once again with force, sending the Saiyan flying even further, only to eventually land on the ground seemingly motionless, some distance away from Goku. Goku, having felt he's beaten down his friend enough, calls out, Hey Vegeta, had enough yet? Looks like whatever this new form of yours is, it's hardly any better than your evolution blue. Probably need to get back to the drawing board on this one. Ha! I bet Beerus won't be too happy. But shockingly, Vegeta almost immediately begins getting up and slowly becomes more and more surrounded by his mysterious flames. Laughing. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you for everything you've just done, Kakarot. Thank you for igniting the soul of battle within me once again. This pain, it only feeds my power. Come at me again. Beat me to a pulp with that pathetic form of yours. Just try and knock me out. I dare you. Goku, however, looks on bemused at the seemingly unhinged words of Vegeta as he questions, Thank you? For what? You're literally bleeding all over yourself and you want me to keep attacking you? You've lost the plot. What are you getting out of this, Vegeta? <laughs> but before Goku can even finish that thought, Ultra Ego Vegeta, in the blink of an eye, has injected his fist right into the gut of Goku. So fast, even Goku hasn't had time to register the pain as he thinks, He's... He's fast. <coughs> Immediately then collapsing onto one knee following this, while Vegeta nonchalantly just removes his fist just as fast. Struggling with the pain, Goku lets out, <laughs> Vegeta, that speed, that wasn't normal. Is this the real power of Ultra Ego? Are you just pretending? But with a mightier than thou look on his face, Vegeta looks down on Goku and replies, <laughs> No, Kakarot, I wasn't pretending. I am indeed faster now. Stronger too. But just like I said, it's all thanks to you. <laughs> to which a partially smirking Goku responds. Ha! <laughs> I still have no idea what you're saying. But I'm glad you're finally showing your real power now, Vegeta. This was starting to get boring. Just now, I can feel just from that punch how much stronger and faster you are than before. As expected of the Prince of Saints, huh? Vegeta though, unbothered at the compliments, quips, <laughs> Yes, yes, Kakarot, I'm faster and stronger. whoop de doo Quit the monologue and get up already. I barely touched you and you know it. Get on your feet and turn into that white-haired clown form now. I'm done with this meaningless warm-up. Show me why 
The power of the angels is to be feared by a god. And as if following Vegeta's every beck and call, Goku immediately does get up, still holding his injured gut saying, Haha, <laughs> guess there's no fooling you. You seem like you're in a rush today. Are you sure you want me to jump to Ultra Instinct? I can tell you now. You're strong, but not that strong. Moro hit hard. Final warning before I end this fight. <laughs> Such misplaced confidence. Did you hear me stutter? Do it now! Fight me at your full power or don't fight at all. Ultra Instinct has a time limit but my patience lasts even less. And finally, then smirking back, Goku responds, <laughs> As you wish, like you said, I haven't got much time, so don't expect me to take it easy. And just like that, standing behind Ultra Ego Vegeta is now Ultra Instinct Goku. With a smiling Vegeta, commenting while he looks behind, <laughs> It's about time! <laughs> Stronger than me or not, I can at least say I look far more appealing than you do with that ridiculous pendulous hair. While Goku near enough emotionlessly says calmly, Don't worry, give it a couple years and you'll have this same hair too. Maybe then you can pretend you're on the same level as me, Vegeta. You regret those words, clown! And suddenly, Vegeta now triggered by Goku's provocation, then starts his attack. Swinging his arm right behind him. But as expected, Goku is quick off the start and vanishes from the prince's sight. Appearing at a short distance away, Vegeta is quick to notice. <gasps> Running away already! Such a cowardly form! <laughs> Rushing at him with the increased speed of Ultra Ego. Yeah! But as if Vegeta was moving in slow motion, Goku, just as easily as he would with anyone else, dodges without a change in facial expression, leaving Vegeta shocked. What? Even in this form I can't hit you? IMPOSSIBLE! <laughs> Instantly launching into a rage, a flurry of punches. But ultimately, it proves futile as not one punch can land no matter how loud Vegeta yells. Huh? But eventually on his last punch, Goku quickly moves to the side and grabs onto Vegeta's arm tightly, looking at him from the side and saying, didn't I tell you I haven't got much time in this form? QUIT WASTING MY TIME! Immediately judo throwing Vegeta straight into the ground for a massive explosion that leaves Vegeta near a mobile, muttering Kakarot! As he lays there raging, the angelic Goku then launches into the air, calling up provokingly Get up Vegeta! Stop playing around! You're not your father, and I won't fall for the same tricks! Angering the fallen and severely damaged Vegeta who yells, You think I'm laying down here on purpose? If you want me to come to you, that's just what I'll do! And just like Goku requests, Vegeta quickly gets onto his feet, before launching once again, Mysteriously, even faster than before. <laughs> but even with the yet again increased speed, Goku instantly vanishes before Vegeta can even get close. Again! Come out, Kakarot! You told me not to waste time, so where the hell are you? All this running away is making the clock tick away! Fight me like a damn Saiyan! Sure! And suddenly from behind, Ultra Instinct Goku appears to land seemingly a finishing blow. But this time, Vegeta seems neither shocked nor unprepared. Yeah! And with a smile on his face, looking right into Goku's eyes, Vegeta swiftly moves out of the way 
of the high speed punch. Huh? He dodged me from that distance? To which Vegeta, pleased by Goku's confusion, just replies, <laughs> Oh, sorry. I forgot I was supposed to let you hit me. What can I say? Dodging such slow attacks is a bit of a forceful habit. Here, my back's turned. Try again. I'll stand still for you, I promise. Leaving Goku utterly confused, thinking to himself, What? What is he thinking? His speed must have gone to another level to dodge that. And he keeps taking all my attacks like they're nothing. <laughs> this is starting to annoy me. <laughs> and in a rage, Goku takes his opportunity, slamming his foot for a kick right on the spine of Vegeta, just as he requested. The kick of course sends Vegeta flying at such speed, it almost looks like he's flying himself, aura and all. Crash bang into a mountain. But it's not long before a heavily bleeding and even more damaged Vegeta just emerges once again on his feet with a smile. Like some kind of strange zombie with him yelling out, Thank you again, Kakarot! That was beautiful! <laughs> that one sorted out a little kink in my back I've had for years. But care to carry on? I'm finally starting to feel something now. <laughs> Goku, meanwhile, once again, looks back down with utter confusion as he just can't comprehend anything that is going on at this point. Thinking, what is happening here? I'm hitting him with everything I've got. Vegeta is even bleeding and hurt all over, but he's coming back stronger and stronger each time. This makes no sense. It's like he's eating a senzu every time I attack him. But with a deranged look, Vegeta says, <laughs> Cat got your tongue, Kakarot? Tick tock! Don't forget about your little curfew. Time could be up before you know it. Don't rely on Arge to save you this time, clown! <laughs> and immediately on hearing this, Goku realizes the predicament he's in, continuing, He's right. I'm spending too much time trying to figure out what's happening. But this needs to end now. After all those physical attacks, he shouldn't be moving. It's like King Vegeta all over again. But if he's going to just underestimate me, then I'll push him right to his limit. Before then placing his hands in a position we all know and love, yelling, Kame! Kame! right down onto the defenseless and still injured Ultra Ego Vegeta. But in a shocking turn of events, rather than fear the power, Ultra Ego Vegeta stares at it head on, laughing saying, <laughs> Yes Kakarot, finally! I've been waiting for this moment this entire time. I'm feeling like Android 19 right now. Before amazingly, then outstretching both his arms as if inviting his death with no fear, screaming, Do it! Kill me now, Kakarot! Show me the power of a low class warrior! Huh? Vegeta! No! What are you doing? It's too close! I can't stop this now! Vegeta, move! You won't survive this! Please! But with the Kamehameha at this point now only centimeters away from Vegeta's face, his fate can no longer be overturned. As both Goku and Vegeta watch on in silence before Vegeta's final words. <laughs> Till I meet you again, Kakarot. Leading to one of the largest explosions ever seen in the series decimating the landscape as Goku yells in panic, Vegeta! 
leaving a massive mushroom cloud in its aftermath that causes wind and debris to splash out in all directions with velocity. Even Goku, who still can't comprehend what has just happened, is forced to cover himself before the realization of Vegeta's death by his own hand hits him. <laughs> Vegeta, what were you thinking? Were you trying to die? Why? You had a family, a son, a wife. Why? With his sorrow building up, Goku closes his eyes and reflects further. This went too far. I'm sorry, Vegeta. I'll bring you back as soon as I can. I promise. Huh? But just as Goku comes to terms with the loss of his friend, a sudden power surge catches his attention. And from the same crater where Vegeta's supposed remains reside in, a massive beam of energy shoots forth. Not unlike when Goku first tapped into a certain technique during the Tournament of Power. Goku now covering his eyes from the bright light yells out, Whoa, what's going on? Is this what I think it is? Before in a sudden turn of events, the bright light shifts to complete darkness, creating instead a massive demonic entity the likes of which have never been seen before in the entire series, completely dwarfing Goku in size. <coughs> Understandably, Goku is left near paralyzed as he senses the incredibly dark, killing intent and power raging from the humongous apparition. Mumbling, what, what is that? This power, it, it feels unreal! But just as fast as the giant creature appeared, it shoots back down instantly and leaves behind a familiar looking humanoid species in its absence. A humanoid species that could do nothing but sinisterly laugh. <laughs> Perfect! This is just what I was hoping for! No! This is even more than I could have imagined! And with yet another surge of power, the familiar sounding humanoid unleashes two devil-like wings which spring forth from his back as the force of his power blasts in all directions like never before. With a ghastly thick smoke emanating from his mouth, the creature finally reveals he is who he think he is, saying, Ah, finally, I am complete! <laughs> so this is how Cell felt. You can stop with the confused face now, clown. Yes, it is I, Vegeta, but no longer as you remember me. What was once Ultra Ego has changed. What you didn't know about that form of mine is that with every attack you landed, the more damage I took, the more powerful I could become. And with that final blast of that blasted Kamehameha, I have evolved once more. <laughs> Welcome to the power of Ultra Ego Maniac! <clears throat> Leaving a now completely overwhelmed Goku as he looks on finally realizing the meaning of all of Vegeta's actions, finally muttering, I... I did this! But that was it for today's video guys, and if you made it this far, leave me a hashtag sequel in the comments down below, since this is my original manga, written, illustrated and narrated by myself, and if you want me to continue this fight ASAP, let me know down in the comments, or if you want to just read the rest of this story before anyone else, please consider just supporting me on my Patreon for as little as $3 a month where you can actively fund all my original stories and read them in full by yourself. Links will be in the pinned comment and descriptions, but if you want to see more of my content, just click on one of these two videos on the right, right now. Until next video guys, cheers.